What is up guys? Pinky49 here. We are back on the Desolation map. And today's an exciting day. Oh man, the haze is about to get a facelift. Well, more like a face sag, like the opposite of a facelift. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Well, what I'm gonna do today, guys, is something I've kind of kept close to the vest. I haven't talked too much about it because I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. I did let it slip a few times. So those of you who are paying close attention know what I'm about to do here. But my whole vision from the very beginning was to make sure that this haze tower is on fire. She's on fire! <laughs> okay, this place is going up in flames. No, not the whole thing. Okay, I didn't go through all the trouble of building this thing just to burn it all down to the ground. But a portion of this thing is going up in flames. Now, in today's video, I'm just going to do the hole that it was created. I'm not going to do the big smoke stacks that are going to be billowing out, so look forward to that in the future. But today, I'm going to I'm gonna blow a hole in this thing. And I tried to think, like, where would the fire start? And the, I really wanted the fire to start on the Axis Chemicals floor, but that floor is, like, really tall, really high, I mean. And it did, wouldn't have the emotional impact that I wanted the fire to have, okay? If it was like that tall in the building, that high in the building. So I think I chose the Brondo Corporation to be ground zero, which is fine, you know? Who who knows how this fire really started? Maybe it was a looter or a rioter, okay? We've been 30 days into the apocalypse and this thing just started to burn. So, you know, this wasn't caused by the initial onslaught. I think 30 days into this whole thing, somebody lit a fire somewhere and it got out of control. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, and uh, it's also gonna be Creative Question of the Week time because today is Monday. You guys know what we do on every single Monday. We answer a creative question from the community, one of your questions that I select from the comment section. If you wanna get in on this little thing here, you gotta put a comment in the comment section below. Make sure it's creative, make sure it's fun, engaging, topical, whatever you wanna put, I don't care. You know, no, nothing's off limits, so go ahead and put a creative question in the comment section below so maybe you have something to ask, answer for next week. I usually answer these questions the next week the week after I get them uh, usually unless like two really good ones come up and I have to do both you know and then uh, like like what happened today okay let's get into today today's question today's question comes from Arkham guy 215 and he asks how do you feel about professional athletes and even other people not st standing up for the anthem I kind of think that they just want attention but at the same time their argument is sort of valid by the way, you think Kaepernick would want to stand with all the bench time he was getting this season? Har har har. All right, good question. Arkham Guy 215. Thank you for asking that question. I really do appreciate it. That's a really good question. I've wanted to talk about this a little bit because it's been so much in the news. For those of you who are from another country or if you don't follow sports or you're not watching the news, basically what happened is... Before every football match, professional football match in the United States, they play the national anthem and everyone stands up, they take their hats off, they put their hand on their chest and they either, you know, sing along or, you know, pray that America's awesome. You know what I mean? And that's the other programming that Americans are under. That's Everyone is meant to do that. If you don't do it, ooh. Uh, so what happened was a professional athlete uh, on the San Francisco 49ers decided that in protest of the police brutality that's been going on sort of uh, in alignment with the black lives matter movement uh he decided that while everyone else is standing and putting a hand on their heart he was going to take a knee he's going to kneel down and uh in protest of police brutality basically on black lives and so the media t went crazy. It was a feeding frenzy. The, the entire country was like polarized on one side or the other. Uh, and the media just ran with it every single day for like two weeks, three weeks. It was Colin Kaepernick this, Colin Ka Kaepernick that. And there was kind of two sides of the argument. There's people who are saying that's disrespectful to our country, to our nation, to the people who die protecting it, blah, 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 blah. And then there was the people who were like, yes, he's standing up for a, a real problem in the United States. And uh, I respect his decision. And, you know, anything that is so polarizing, anything that causes argument like that, the media is going to plaster it all over because they love that sort of thing. It sells papers. It gets viewers. Getting people to argue with each other is basically what the role of the media, in the United States at least, is. Okay. And I was just so disgusted by it. What a circus frenzy of just nonsense. This whole... It was just people arguing the dumbest things. Um, my stance on the whole thing is this. Um, 
let's go back. I don't know if it's, this is true for some of you. I don't know when this stopped, but when I was in school, we were heavily programmed every morning before anything was learned, before we even said hello to each other. Over the loudspeaker, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. And all of us, no matter what, no matter what you believed, no matter who you were, you had to stand up. You had to put your hand on your heart and like a zombie, like a, like a, like a, I don't even know. It's just like, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, blah, 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 blah. And just like drones, like zombies. We were, you know, just, just we didn't even know what the words meant, but they were being programmed to us every single day. Honestly, I didn't even know what the words meant, but I could chant it every morning. I had to chant it every morning. And that starts a whole, that was the beginning of the programming for nationalism. Getting you, me, and everyone else to believe that our country, this place with imaginary borders, okay, imaginary lines on the map, this place is better than that place over there. And so that's where the programming started. And it, it, as you grow up, there's just more and more program, more and more propaganda, getting you to believe that our country, no matter what we do, our country is right. And whoever we tell you is wrong is wrong. And that's just the way we accept things. We accept our, our governments telling us, okay, these guys are evil. We're good, of course. Okay, you know, uh, for instance, North Korea, they shouldn't have any nuclear weapons, right? Because using nuclear weapons is bad. That's the U.S. telling, like, North Korea or Iran these things. Who is the only country in the history of the world to use a nuclear weapon? The United States, twice. And we have the authority to tell other people that they shouldn't? What? <laughs> Okay, that's just an example of programming. You, like, you believe that U.S. has the right to tell people what they should do with your nuclear weapons when we are the only nation to actually use them on civilians. Holy cow. Do you not see the hypocrisy here? So when people say to Colin Kaepernick, well, you shouldn't uh, kneel down because that's unpatriotic. You know what's unpatriotic? Supporting a nation who kills people. That's unpatriotic. And they kill people in all sorts of ways. Through these horrible foods, processed fast food that they feed us. The fluoride water that they make us drink. Uh, by sending us overseas to kill people who don't deserve to die. Uh, by police killing people on the streets because of an overpowered police force. A corrupt, overpowered police force, which is what Colin Kaepernick is standing down for. <laughs> he's not standing up for, he's standing down for. So... If you don't say anything, then you're part of the problem. If you don't, if you don't resist problems, then you're part of it. If you just allow the problem to persist, then you're part of it. Think of Nazi Germany in World War II. Okay, there was a lot of people who were against the, the murder of Jews, but they didn't do anything because they were in fear, so they just let it happen. They just let the Jews be let off one by one into the gas chambers. And are they as much to blame as the people who turn on the gas chambers? Absolutely. Absolutely positively. They did nothing. They stood by it and watched as horrible things happened around them. And they're just as guilty as Adolf Hitler, in my opinion. Okay? So... When a celebrity like Colin Kaepernick believes something so strongly that he's willing to go against popular opinion to make it heard, I believe that's a very noble thing, okay? So much of our programming, guys listen to this, so much of our programming is to believe that courage is going off and dying in a war somewhere, away from your home, away from your families for some unknown reason. We're, believed that, we're taught to believe that that is courage. That's not courage, that's cowardice. Real courage is standing up for what's right even when every single person around you thinks another way, thinks differently. Standing up for what's right when it's not the popular opinion is real courage. And Colin Kaepernick took his celebrity, you know, he's a minor celebrity, right? 
because he's a, a, a quarterback on a football team in America. So he's a minor celebrity, and he, instead of going to, just accepting his check and going to his mansion, he decided, you know what, I'm going to do something. I'm going to voice my opinion for something that's not right here. Everyone's standing around where... I'm going to take a knee, okay? And that's a, a very courageous thing to do, in my opinion. And he got chastised for it. If you don't want to you know, live in this country, why don't you go somewhere else? That's a popular thing for people to say. If you don't like it, why don't you leave? The answer to that is because this is his home. This is our home. If there's something wrong in your home, you don't leave to find a new home. You fix your home home and that's what Colin Kaepernick is trying to do he's trying to highlight a problem with this country he's not saying this country's horrible I'm gonna sit down because you know and, and disrespect this country what he's saying is you are disrespecting this country by standing by and doing nothing about a huge problem guys you gotta see things from the uh, uh, correct perspective here you're seeing so a lot of people are seeing things from their programmed perspective. The I pledge allegiance to the flag. My nation is the greatest nation on earth. Even though we dropped atomic bombs on innocent civilians, we can tell people you shouldn't have nukes, right? We have the best nation. All of our laws are just. Our police force are angels in out in, in, in uniform. You know that's just programmed. I don't want to hear that programming. Okay, it's time to break out from the programming, guys. It's, the, the old ways aren't working. The national anthem was written by a slave owner who whipped and killed his possessions. Right? And this is the song we're standing up to with tears in our eyes and hands on our hearts. And we're going to chastise, we're going to demonize anyone who doesn't. I mean, a slave owner wrote that song. Oh, say can you see? Right? A slave, a person who treated human beings as possessions wrote that song and we're just standing and we need a new way of thinking guys. The old way of thinking is not working for us. The old way of thinking brought us war and violence and you know go look back at the history of war in, on the world, in the globe. 95% of the wars were started by United States and Great Britain, okay? We are warmongers. We are a culture of violence. Even Colin Kaepernick plays a sport, air quotes, that's like being basically modern day gladiators. It's extremely violent. We love violence. We glorify violence. We're the most violent culture that's probably ever existed on this planet. We're dropping nukes. We need to we need to shift. We need to go to a more uh, a peace-loving society where police officers don't have the authority to kill whoever they feel like and get away with it. And the only way to get there is to change your shift to undo that programming. You have to realize that you've been programmed in order to fix that programming. Into the, in, in order to undo your programming, you have to know you've been programmed. So guys, start seeing things from a different perspective. Start asking questions of everyone and everything just because the media or some guy you you respect said Colin Kaepernick's a disgrace to this nation doesn't mean that's true it means that you need to really think about it and come to your own conclusions because if not, if you're not going to ask questions then you're just going to be food, spoon fed answers by some force some other entity that has ulterior motives all right so the whole thing with my channel and with my life is I want people to ask questions, guys. I'm trying to get people to ask questions. So don't just look at the Kaepernick issue from either the white or the dark side, you know, the black or the white. It's not black and white. There's so many shades of gray. Oh, as you can see by my blending here, there's shades to this, <laughs> all right? <laughs> trying to draw it back to Minecraft, I mean, there's shades to this. So you gotta use your discernment, you gotta use your mind and your heart to figure out the truth and come to your own conclusions, guys. Get rid of your programming, that's all I'm trying to say. All right, that's been the creative question of the week. We got a big hole in the skyscraper on to build a smoke cloud coming out of it. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I can't wait for it. Uh, thank you to Arkham Guy for asking that great question. Be sure to leave creative questions of the week in the comments section below as always guys leave a like if you enjoyed this happy minecrafting peace